Hi, Bob here. June 5th. Twenty thirteen. This is another ion engine. It's a little. It's the emitters are a different size, but nothing real special or different. Uh, we have the have the. Uh, hang on just a second. Just just a little second. Here we go. Yeah, I never get don't choreograph these things very good, I guess. But here, anyways, we have the nose cone. You've got the cylinder part. This is just a fairing. This is just for wire connections, as you can see. This is my power supply lead right here, and. Then we have the, this is a four inch cone, and this is a cylinder three inch. And uh, it's powered with a, uh, with a uh, two coil air core type, type pulse generator. As you see, it just have the, it all held together with a wire. It, it just fits together. This is just a spacer I use between the two emitters. But the reason I'm pulling it apart, the reason I'm pulling it apart, I wanted to show you. This is the pulse generator right here underneath this paper. Let's see if I can hold that up. Yeah. Here we go. This is the pulse generator. This is just a plastic juice jar cap. And there's the two beer wire coils. Now this is pretty small. There's only it's only uh, five turns and they're not complete. It's actually four and a half. But anyways and you can see the gap between them. I pull it up here. You can see that. I hope you can see that. There you go. That was a good shot of it. And that's the pulse generator. That's fastened on the back side of the cone emitter. And that all just that is just every bit of it simply. Just slips together. If I can do. I use a. The reason I put the paper core or a paper cylinder part over the wires, it, 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 it they seem to work better uh, for whatever reason. As I've tried it without and it doesn't seem to perform as well, at least not in my opinion. And we'll get it back together. And that's pretty much it, you see. And uh, there's video. I'm going to have the video on it. That just slides in there to hold it. Gives it some, uh, when it's all hooked up, it works quite well. This is just where I store it. Configuration for storage and that's pretty much it it's like I said this is using a two coil air core pulse generator with a four inch cone three inch cylinder the top part here is just this is just a cone fairing this is just a cylinder part I made them all one piece and it's just for hooking up the wire for the power lead. You call it the load area if you want to get technical. And uh, that's uh, that's how this one is set up. 
it's not a real high velocity engine but it's very reliable and it worked in works well in all humidity ranges temperature ranges and barometer readings so it, it's it's not high velocity but it is consistent I could never get it much it averages out about 19 inches a second and velocity is the maximum the maximum I've ever gotten it was 20 so that's the way it is but the four inch the bigger they are I'm have, I have trouble getting any real velocity out of the larger diameter emitters anyway so I'm uh, not sure where I just lack a it just isn't going to work but I'm going to keep playing with it I uh, got some ideas for I'm going to try and I'm going to attempt to build a six inch again different whole different setup but we'll see how that goes if it goes well at all I'll make a video otherwise it be just something I talk about all right then talk to you later bye